Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey dolls, Augnet here with another episode of 101 Doll Nations TV. We're so glad you guys loved our pilot, and guess what? We have exciting news. We've been picked up by the network, and we're going to bring you a full season of 101 Doll Nations. As you can see, we're already revamping our studio, and we hope that by the the time it's done, you'll like what we've done to the place. As you can see, we've got our cool flat screen TV and our cool live streaming light. Now for this very first episode of 101 Doll Nations TV, we're going to be doing our first ever mini paper haul. So we've got lots of paper goods and stuff to buy over the next course of the season. But this is the first set, first series, and we're going to do other hauls. We'll do technology hauls and any other hauls we can think of that you might enjoy. And remember dolls, if you love the stuff that we're showing you and you want this in your studio or your room, be sure to let us know in the comments below and we'll make a full episode on how to create all of these things for your small spaces. Now, paper is so important in the craft studio and we've got a lot of it. We went shopping and we spared no expense, so let's get right into it. One of the first things we bought, and all of the stuff can be found at Family Dollar or um, at Dollar Tree or Michael's or Joann's or Tuesday Morning, some crafty place like that. Now, these are three composition notebooks. You can get as many as you like. I only got three to start. This is where I'll be jotting down ideas for future shows and notes on future guests that we might have. Next, I bought two cutting boards. One is a self-healing cutting mat, and one is a large board for larger projects. Now, this one you can cut on it, and it will heal itself. So, we bought those. We also bought two generic packs of sandpaper for different projects. Next comes the paper. I guess I'll start here. We bought a few stacks of just regular notebook paper. Um, you never know what you might need it for, and you can never have too much paper. We'll be using it to make um, drawings and sketches, taking notes, all that kind of stuff. And I also like to do things on colored paper for like flower flyers and stuff like that. So I bought this small ready to use stack of different colored copy paper. But I also bought it in the reams. So we have all the different colors. We have magenta, soft pink, yellow, orange. I even have a stack of recycled paper. We have purple, blue, and lime green. Now for the workhorses of your craft studio, you're going to need some medium or heavy cardstock. And the brand I like is called Basil. Now these came from Michaels. And this is just the Basil White. These are 12 by 12 paper stacks. So this is my brand preferred choice. I also got four of the 12 by 12 stacks in black. They had um, the brown, and I'll go back and get that later. Something else we'll need for our studio is post-it notes, and I got them in six colors, and these will be good for leaving notes on the fridge or for interns or for leaving notes uh, around the studio for whomever may need a note or on our computers. Now, some people don't like rulers, but I love rulers. I always buy rulers. Now, I bought four plastic rulers, and I like those because you can sort of damage these, and you know, you can get four for a dollar, so it's not going to ruin your budget if you have to buy more. So I keep lots of plastic rulers around. And then I have a wooden ruler which of course has a metal edge. The wooden ruler is good for kind of squaring things up. And I bought a metal ruler. 
Now the metal ruler is good for using a straight edge or an X-Acto knife on different projects. Next, we bought some manila folders. Now, we're not going to use them for what you think people use them for. Well, we are, but we aren't. We'll use manila folders for our file cabinets and filing systems, but we'll also use them for making journals and tags and stuff. If you've ever watched Stacey Evans of Pink Poodle Crafts or Emily Welda of Creative Jewels by Emily, you know they use those types of folders to create nice, sturdy tags. And I'll just open one stack up so you can see that these are just your normal three tab manila file folders and we'll be using them the normal way and for crafts. Now this is the first paper stack we bought. Um, this is just a random black and white paper stack. The colors aren't super vibrant or dark uh, but it'll be just you know a good stack to use for uh, backgrounds. So this is the Peapod brand. We got this from Michaels. It's not a name brand. Our favorite brand is Die Cuts with a View, Graphic 45, and some of the Anna Griffith line. So we'll be using those in future projects too. But you can use, um, you know, generic stacks for generic things and you can dress them up with your embellishments. We also bought a, a carton of regular copy paper so you can never have too much. You need copy paper in your studio, and this just has 10 reams of standard copy paper. This we bought online. This is the Peapod brand. This is our favorite preferred generic brand, and we buy that a lot in a lot of different things. Now, last but not least is something that I've been wanting for a long time. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Tempered Glass Mat. And we'll just open it up for you. Beautiful mat. Nice, glossy, smooth surface that you can cut on and it won't get scratched. And you can put your paints and your inks and things on there and it wipes up nice and clean. As you can see, it's nice and thick. So... I'm going to look forward to using that in my projects. Well, I'm going to get everything set back up so you can get one last look, and then we'll say our goodbyes. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back, and everything's set back up so you can get one last look at the awesome supplies we got in our mini paper haul for this episode of 101 Doll Nations TV. I hope you enjoyed it. Please... Uh, leave us a comment below and tell us what you think or what you might want to see in upcoming episodes. We've got lots of things on our plate to show you. And dolls, we hope you stick around for every single bit of what's coming down the pipeline. I also want to tell you guys, this video happens to be sponsored by Patsy Houlihan. And if you know her, you know her fantastic movies. If you're a doll worth your salt, you know Patsy Houlihan. The, the new Patsy Houlihan movie is coming out tomorrow, Friday, which is so fantastic. You guys have to go see this movie and let me know what you think of it. Um, it's called A Stranger in My Auntie's House, I think. And we'll play a clip of the movie after this, the, the uh, ad for it. So you got to go see it. It's going to premiere tomorrow at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So put that on your calendar and mark it for whatever time zone you have to be in. You have to be there for the premiere dolls. You can't miss it. It's our red carpet. This is huge for us. We haven't had many dolls premiering movies or directing and doing their own thing. So this is a first and a must. Patsy Houlihan is one of the most popular puppets out there in our doll land today, so we have to come and show support. It's 101 Doll Nations TV, and we support all dolls all the time. So we're really excited. We're going to be there for the premiere, and we hope to see you there too. So we'll see you later, dolls, and we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.